I don't know how focused they will be on the fact that, that we beat them last year. I know that you know probably missing the playoffs for the first time in a long time is probably the bigger thing for them. I want everybody to think that we've went four and five and we've fallen off the face of the earth at Wheaton Warrenville South. That's exactly the mentality that we do well at. When you play a, a dual threat quarterback like that, it's, it's difficult. You know, as, as a defense, you have to prepare for that. Wheaton North obviously uh, brings to the to the game two Division I athletes in, in their quarterback and receiver in Bogalski. And I think both of those athletes can dominate a high school football game. They have big play potential with some of their kids and, and keeping those guys uh, out of the end zone is going to be a challenge. Facing a talent like we're going to see against Wheaton North, I think it's right where our strength is. So I'm anxious to see if we match up to that. Welcome to Wheaton, everybody, for the CN100 Game of the Week tonight. A fabulous matchup as Wheaton North takes on Wheaton Warrenville South from Red Grange Field. Hello, everybody. I'm Jim Blaney, along with Jack McInerney and two district rivals, two conference rivals, two teams that are in the top ten in the state of Illinois. And Jack, for Wheaton North, they knocked off Wheaton Warrenville South in the final game of the year last year for the first time in ten years. Their job, see if they can make it two in a row. Well, you know that it didn't sit real well with the Wheaton South students and or players, and they've got a little revenge on their mind for tonight. And what a matchup to start out the conference play with, a game like tonight. We couldn't ask for a better matchup. Wheaton North comes into this game at 2-0. and oh. That's the same story for Wheaton Warrenville South, but Jack, there's more to it than the fact that they're just 2-0 and oh because they have already beaten two of the better teams in the state. You couldn't ask for a tough, tougher schedule and they went through beating Glenbard West and beating Maine South and they did it convincingly for the most part. They played good defense and they moved the football around. They showed great balance. They are back. Keyshawn Watson out wide to the left and he's got single coverage out there and they make sure to bring no, the man they, over to commit they that don't over anybody there. on him. Back to pass is Graham. He takes a look. He fires over oh, the middle. Oh! And unable Picked to come off. up with the ball is Ostrander. Picked off by Bo Martin. He has a convoy in front of him, staying on his feet, takes it out to the 40-yard line before he's finally brought down by the center, Tom Sullivan. Well, it was kind of interesting that formation they went to. They weren't expecting the safety not to be in the middle, and he turned out to be there. There's a tight end. There's the safety popping him, and here comes... Johnny on the spot right there. Bo Martin down the, down the sideline. Good, good field position. First and goal from the six. Campos, he will follow Horton right side, and he is into the end zone. Touchdown. Wheaton Warrenville South. Campos six yards out. They get out there and they lock on to people. You see right there, they're running, and that's a 286-pound Jack Jake Williams pulling, and also uh, Leo Perez at 230 pounds, where they can get out and run like that and allow the back to get in behind him. It stretches the field, and then he finds that lane to get up in behind. Clock running, 9.05 remaining in the second quarter. Second down and 15. Graham back to pass, corner of the end zone, corner sideline, wow. should say. What a great catch. Right along the sideline, pulled in by Savon Carter. That is exactly what we call a hands catch. It was really a a good route, but a tight route. He really puts the ball on the money. There's nowhere to go. He's got a yard and a half to that sideline. He goes up. It's all a hands catch. Good delivery. Good height going up at the point of attack right there. Catching the football at its highest point. That's how he's taught. Good job right there by Carter. Garza stays in for a little extra protection for Thorson. Thorson rolls left. Takes a look. Has a man on that side for Cucci. Gets to the 30 and stays on his feet. He has a first down. Now he has more out to the 48-yard line before he's finally brought down. So, a big play on third down, Jack, and that's been a story of the game for Wheaton North. Well, they've done that all through the first half. They didn't do much on first down, but they've seem to do everything on third down, just basically the reverse of Wheaton, uh, Wheaton South. 41 seconds left in the third quarter. Thorson, nine of 23. Needs this one on third and nine. Takes a look, has time, delivers, there we go. tipped, and picked off at midfield. We just got done talking about between the hash marks, any kind of tip ball is open game to be intercepted, and that's exactly what happened right there. Ball's tipped, and it's picked off. Joe Mahalik picked it off. Throws the ball. He's got a lot of zip on the football in the middle of the field. 
It's tipped, and here comes a safety that's in the back. He's thrown over a linebacker. Safety comes up, and there's Interception City right there. Two safeties sitting in, in between the hash marks. To view this exclusive Xfinity TV programming in its entirety, check the CN100 schedule for a list of airtimes, or view this program anytime on demand by selecting Get Local and choosing CN100.